this is a really powerful Omaha story. It's a really powerful Nebraska story. It's a really powerful American story. This is a story about a middle-aged, devoted father, chief of a small, obscure tribe tucked away in a remote corner of the northern Great Plains. And this man brought down the United States government and brought the United States federal court to its knees in his favor without ever firing a shot from his Winchester, without ever plucking an arrow from his uh, quiver, without ever unsheathing his scalping knife. He defeated the United States government. He defeated the United States Army with a writ of habeas corpus on the second floor of a federal courtroom on the corner of 15th and Dodge Streets in the spring of 1879. By the time he walked out of that courthouse, Chief Standing Bear had accomplished something that no other Native American ever had. He sued the United States government for his freedom. All he wanted to do was bury his son. And the United States Cavalry captured him when he unlawfully left the reservation in Oklahoma. They said, uh, you're under arrest, we're sending you back, and um, he got the sympathy of a whole constellation of Omaha people who came out of the woodwork and started rallying around his flag. He had the most prominent lawyer in the city of Omaha, who at the time was the general counsel for Union Pacific Railroad. If you were in trouble in the spring of 1879, the one person you wanted representing you was Andrew uh, Jackson Poppleton. And he came out and said he wanted to take the case, goes before a grizzly bear hunting, Indian-hating judge, Elmer Dundee, and everybody is so moved by the humanity of this story. A people who were unethically, immorally, and illegally pushed off their land, land that not one but two U.S. Senate treaties said they owned, marched forcibly 550 miles to Oklahoma where a third of the tribe died the first year where they were there, including standing for his son, who extracted a promise from his father, the chief, that upon his death he wanted his remains to be buried in their beloved homeland along the Niobrara River. And standing Bear attempted to do that and got within two days of it, arrested by the cavalry, ends up suing for his freedom in a federal courtroom in Omaha, Nebraska, and gets it. It's a remarkable story on so many different levels and um, one that uh, I think everybody in Nebraska should be incredibly proud of.